Hello everyone, okay so if you know me from Instagram you know that I am the kind of uh, photo editor that turn the light on any polite. So yeah, I like to turn normal day photo into a very moody photo but if you don't know my photos and you don't know me, here are some examples. When I show the before after, usually people get very surprised because the before photos, the polaris are not on because it's not night yet. So I manually light up every pole light and that's a technique that is actually very easy to do. There are a few different techniques and today I show you one. Let's jump into Photoshop. Okay, so I'm here in Photoshop with this image shot in uh, Budapest, in a fisherman's uh, bastion, if you uh, know the place. As always, I did the development in Camaro. I show you quickly if you are interested. So that's the before image and after. Okay, and then I did a sky replacement because I wanted to turn this image into a night image. So here is the sky replacement and some uh, light adjustment to uh, fit the night mood of the image so with an HDR technique so now what I want to do is to uh, light up those three uh, light poles so I'm going to create a new layer I rename it uh, light okay and now what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to click on the right side of the layer, so double click. And then I have this box here, Transparency Shapes Layers, and I want to uh, uncheck it. So I uncheck it and then I click OK. Yeah. Then what I want to do is to turn this layer with the blending mode Color Dodge. So I go here and I choose Color Dodge. And now it's time to brush into my uh, light pole. So I'm going to zoom in. I take a brush, so be on your keyboard. And then I want a flow on um, between um, 5 and 10%. So here I'm going to go with 7. I take the brush and then you can choose the color that you want. So for me, I want yeah something uh, very light between white and but with orange tones so here is fine for me don't worry because uh, at the end of the process you can always change the color the color that you chose for the light so if you change your mind it's not a problem so i zoom in i'm going to uh, have a hardness of zero percent then take a very small size and I'm going to brush in the middle. What we want is to brush um, the lamp that is inside. So I'm starting to brush. Now I make it a bit bigger and a little bit more. Okay, perfect for this one. You can see before and after. We're gonna do uh, the other ones. And don't worry, after that, we're gonna add a new layer and create a bit uh, more glow so for this one i'm going to brush the lamp that is inside i make the brush a bit bigger i keep brushing and bigger okay the last one so small brush i brush inside i make it a bit bigger and bigger again and i brush Okay, so here is my before and after. Now I'm gonna create another layer. I will call it glow. Set it on an overlay blending mode. And I'm going to come and brush around it to add some yeah, glare, some glow. Yeah, you can see it really helps to add some glow. Okay. And this one. Okay, now uh, with that, you can see the before and after. Of course, what you will need to do is to add some glow on the surrounding buildings. And uh, you can do it on an overlay mode as well. And then you add some lights. Um, everywhere the light would 
uh, affect the buildings. So, for example, maybe here. Here on the ground. Maybe on the stairs here. If you want to do a straight line, you click once while holding shift and you click another point and the line the line will be straight. So it's something that can be interesting. So here you just need to imagine where the light would be affecting uh, the buildings and it will help to add some blendings okay so yeah i'm doing it quickly because it's not the main topic of this um, tutorial but it's an interesting uh, blending technique i think it's a bit too high Okay, so you can see the before and after. So blending is not perfect, that could be better, but you got the point. Now if you wanted to have another color for uh, your for your light, I'm going to show you. So you create a group called uh, Polite. And then you're gonna go here, solid color. Then you're gonna choose a color, so I'm going to choose something very crazy for you to see. And then while clicking Option or Alt, you're gonna see a little uh, arrow and you wanna click. So this layer is affecting only what's inside this folder. And now you can just choose uh, whatever color you want. So let's go with something a bit more realistic maybe yeah some red like this or maybe we want to have the same color yeah okay and then you can reduce the opacity uh yeah the opacity of the solid color okay so here i'm at 10 percent before and after is very subtle before and after and this is the before and after we turn on the light pole so yeah you can use this technique to turn the light on anything and uh, yeah hope you learned something let me know in the comments uh, if you like this video if you like this video please push the like button and subscribe to my channel to don't miss any videos see you in the next one